Hello Aquarius, how are you all doing? Welcome to your weekly reading for the 6th to the 12th of May. The dates are just a guideline, okay, so just take it as it resonates. It is not a personalised reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. You guys are my first reading of the day, okay? Um, right, so, um, guys, a quick few messages, okay, that while we're waiting actually for these um, bracelets to come in, okay, on my website, all right? Um, what it is, right now, the stock, as you can understand with the lockdown, that they're only delivering essential items. And some items have come out of stock. Okay, and I'm waiting for the stock to come back in. Okay, so I can get on with these. Because we've had a lot of interest in these chakra uh, bracelets. Okay, um, I've had a really, really great response for these. Okay, these will be available on my website. Okay, hopefully by the time the lockdown's over. And hopefully... Um, well, it depends when the lockdown's over, okay, guys? So, I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you updated. If you don't follow my Instagram, it's Oracle A 1122 Guys, I post all my updates on Instagram, okay? So, if you don't follow me, you won't have any updates coming on, okay? So, keep an eye out for my Instagram, okay, where I post my updates. Also, in the meantime, while we're waiting for these babies to come out, okay, and be available, um, I have got my own merch, okay and that is available on teespring okay um the link will be in the description box below um in the last few videos i've kind of put the link in um incorrect okay and all you have to do is add a dash four at the end okay um to get to my merchandise right okay finally put that out there because um yeah i've kind of just it just kind of hit me off. i was like no that is wrong okay no it's dash four okay that is right just put a dash four at the end of it I work really hard on my merch, so be really highly grateful if you guys are, you know, guided to support me. 20% of every purchase goes towards good cause, okay? I always believe that whatever you give out to the universe, the universe gives back to you, whether it's good or bad, okay? Um, you always get it back. So, um, I've I've ordered a sample, okay? I'm just waiting for that to come through. I've only ordered one at the moment just to see what's going on in regards to the delivery. So, once it's here, I will show you guys and I will share it with you guys. And I'm super, super excited. So, let's get on with your main reading. Let's, well, we have Aquarius, the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Ascendant. Oh, we have one already. So, we have Unnecessary Worries, okay? Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. Okay, so... Um, some of your Aquariuses could be worrying very unnecessarily, okay? When there's really no reason to worry about something. And I always say, if it hasn't happened yet, then why are you worried? And if it has happened and the results haven't come back yet, then why are you still worried, okay? So let's see what's going on. We'll dig more into this. What do we need to know for Aquariuses? What message advice do we have? Angel guides, universe. For my Aquariuses, some moon rising Venus. We have two that came out. Your dreams need a practical plan and luck is on your side. So the minute you put your dreams into practicality, that is when, okay, things will start to get a lot better for you guys, okay? So let's leave that there for you, okay? Right, let's get on to the main tarot. And guys, what do we need to know for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please, and Ascendance for the 6th to the 12th of May 2020. What is the overall energy? What is the current energy for my Aquarius? We have, oh, King of Wands. You know, the fire energies are really everywhere, honestly, in everybody's zodiac, okay? So I'm not saying that it could be a fire energy, okay? It may not be a fire energy. I'm just saying that, you know, this could be a person who has personality or the triads of fire energy or somebody who has fire in their top very very strongly okay let's see what's crossing this situation you could have uh, become more like the king of wands now aquarius is okay let's see what is crossing the situation what is crossing the situation please angel guides what is crossing the situation we have the paid of cups crossing the situation Let's see what's on top of your mind. What is on top of Aquarius's mind, please, Angel Guides? We have the Nine of Wands. Let's see what is carrying you guys through. 
if I'm a little slow, it's because I have just woken up maybe just about 20 minutes ago, okay? So bear with me. Let the adrenaline rush come through, okay? <laughs> what is carrying Aquarius is three, please, angel guides. We have the Queen of Cups. My cards woke up faster than I did. What do we need to know about Aquarius's um, recent past, please? <clears throat> What do we need to know about Aquarius's recent past? We have the King of Pentacles, two kings, one queen. This could go either way. Gender's not specific. Could be dealing with an earth sign or water sign, fire sign. What do we need to know about the near future for Aquarius's? Please, angel guides. <clears throat> Okay, Ace of Wands, that's good energy. Let's see what's going on in your own environment. Oh, okay, lovers. Let's see what's going on with your environment around you. Guides are one step ahead of me. <laughs> Let's see your hopes and your fears. What is Aquarius's hopes and fears? Oh, we got three. Can't take three. What is Aquarius's hopes and fears? You got the Empress, could be dealing with the Taurus, got Piscean Cancer energy, Gemini energy. Okay, what is the overall outcome? What is the overall outcome, please? We have the Page of Pentacles, could be dealing with a younger Earth sign as well. We have the Two of Swords, okay, duality choices that you need to make, okay. Um, perhaps, you know, even over two people. I always see this card as where you come at a crossroads in your life, but you don't know which direction to choose. Um, and any direction is always a risk. But you just don't know whether that is a good risk or a bad risk, okay. So, let's see what's going on here. Okay. So guys, I've got my little cappuccino here. Okay. <clears throat> so to start off, we have the King of Wands, okay? King of Wands is somebody who is a passionate individual who, um, yes, thinks before they leap, okay? They can be quite impulsive, but I'd say in a more active kind of way, not in a hasty kind of way. This person um sets expectations for themselves and others they are good in team leading they um they have high honor okay doesn't have to be but they're well respected in their friends or family is very popular um center of attention okay they look at a situation with a lot of passion a lot of leadership um a vision of the future okay and if they are needing to grow the entrepreneur they will okay um, see block in the situation is a page of cups okay and this is like <laughs> to me it's like this this energy here okay of this uh, wand this king is kind of blocked with this immaturity okay this immature kind of behavior that's coming through this immature kind of feelings and thoughts that are coming through um i mean this person's trying to find new methods but i feel that the new methods are getting blocked because of this immaturity okay so whether this is you or somebody that you're dealing with okay there's this sense of immaturity coming through okay um we'll dig more into that okay in regards to what it is that we need to know top of your mind okay we've got the nine of wands so you could be you could be being quite vigilant okay around a particular person um your thoughts may be a little bit it's kind of worrisome okay like in regards to um how you are going to move forward um I'm also getting that, shall I move forward or shall I move back kind of energy, okay, Aquarius is. Um, you're holding on to your own security here. With the 
the fear, okay, that perhaps somebody is going to try to break your resilience, okay, um, test your patience in regards to whatever it is that you're protecting yourself from, okay. Planning, strategizing is also what I'm getting from this. So it could be work related, it could be a person, I don't know. You got two people here as well. So gender's not specific. What's carrying you through is your emotions, okay? You're becoming more aware of your emotions, your emotional security, um, using your intuition with the Queen of Cups, okay? Being aware of your emotions, having that abundance, okay? But also seeking, you're seeking something Aquarius, okay? I don't know what it is that you're seeking. There is something here that you're seeking, okay? You're facing the same way, like the Queen of Cups, the King of Wands, and this Nine of Wands, these people are all facing the same way, okay? And then you have the King of Pentacles facing the King of Wands. So it's like three people facing one way and then one person facing the King of Wands. So it's like king against king. Could be a queen. The king of pentacles in your recent past is a very steady, sturdy energy, okay? Very grounded energy, abundant energy, okay? Again, somebody who works in finance perhaps, okay, even. Uh, somebody who is financially secure, emotionally secure, grounded individual, has a lot of discipline, a lot of control over themselves, over their situation, okay of the family as well with the ace of wands coming into your near future there's a new beginning starting here okay there's a lot of growth coming through okay so something new is beginning okay i also feel that this could be a new enterprise okay a new invention some new project that's starting okay especially with this king of wands see how that hand is facing the king of wands uh, and the king of wands is got their back towards this ace of wands but you see the king of pentacles knows that this wand is coming through so is the king of pentacles looking at the king or is he looking at this opportunity um let's see what's going on because you see this is where that um confusion is coming through from okay within your own energy here okay you have the lovers okay so yeah, it could be a choice between three people or more. It's being karmically guided. It's a soulmate connection. You're karmically guided. It, you may not be together with this person right now, okay? Um, you may be separated, okay? The person here may be going through illusions or deception about this relationship. This could be you towards your person as well. Empress is the abundance, okay. So there's something new here with the Empress could be a pregnancy, okay. Um that that could be your fear, okay, that this person is pregnant, okay, something like you know, a new baby, oh my god, you know. Um this could also be if it's not a new baby, it could just be your hopes, okay, in regards to yay, we're having a new baby, okay. Um, but this is also about again growth. I'm getting growth, okay. A new beginning growth abundance fertility i'm getting pregnancy here very strongly okay and then you have the page of pentacles as the outcome so it could just be childbirth okay a new baby on the way why is somebody here choosing between three people mm -hmm. right let's go ahead and clarify this okay before we start brainstorming let's see what's going on angel guys please clarify this reading for my aquariuses Please clarify this reading for my Aquariuses, please, Holy Spirits, Angel Guides. Why is the King of Wands here, please? Why is King of Wands here? We have the Seven of Swords. Temperance. So, uh, current energy is that, yeah, you are choosing between two people or your person is choosing between two people. They're being a little bit sneaky. They haven't said anything yet as to what it is that they're doing, okay? Or you are not telling this person what it is that you're doing. There's kind of sneaky, deceptive behavior coming through here, okay? Where somebody's kind of like testing the waters, okay? Or something like this. That immature behavior, that's what's coming through here. This immaturity, see? Now that makes a lot of sense why this page of cups is here. 
Let's come for the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? You have the Sun. You have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Because of somebody's immaturity, okay, it's blocking this happiness from coming through. And it's making somebody feel very much um, isolated, alone. Um, you and this person are not together at the moment is what I'm getting from this, okay? But it is making this person feel very much alone. There is happiness there. This person may be pregnant. So, you know, you are either pregnant, your person may be pregnant, okay, gender's not specific, okay, in regards to, well, it is in regards to pregnancy, okay, <laughs> what am I saying? Um, but in regards to, like, for example, if you're a male um, and, and your missus or miss could be pregnant, okay, I'm getting a lot of pregnancy here, okay. Let's uh, clarify the nine of wands. Guys, are my first reading, okay? And I still haven't finished that a cup of cappuccino, <laughs> right? And I'm always keeping it real and organic on this channel, guys, okay? So I don't like messing around or giving, you know, sugarcoating the reading, okay? It is what it is, simple as. Um, so let's see what's going on. Okay, so we have the paid ones. Yeah, a lot of pages coming through, a lot of immature energy coming through here, okay? What are you guarding yourself from? You're looking or you're watching a situation. Nine of Swords came out in reverse. All right, so you're feeling really hopeless in regards to the situation, okay, but you're feeling very much, um, you're feeling a lot of depression, okay, you're protecting yourself from a situation, so I feel like this is the same person, whether this is you or somebody else, okay, let's clarify the Queen of Cups, why is the Queen of Cups here, please, Angel Guides, why is the Queen of Cups here, why is Queen of Cups carrying this person through, what is this, I feel like there's more than one person involved here, okay, in regards to this situation. We have the death and we have the moon. We also have the devil card. Three major arcanas here, okay. Um, okay, so you're becoming intuitively more aware of your feelings, okay, or this person is. I feel like they're going through a transformation, okay, um, out from the old into the new. But whatever it is that they've ended, they've done it in a really deceptive, sneaky way. This could also be an illusion, okay, where they're always constantly in their mind. Um, it's become to the extent where this person's kind of made themselves belief, perhaps even, okay, in regards to these illusions. Excuse me, guys. There's also this deception here, okay. I feel I'm getting deception a lot. So maybe somebody hid the pregnancy and it's not telling, you know, this person whose baby is, who's a father of the child. Maybe plotted it onto somebody else when it, that person's not the father, okay? And it could have been because uh, they don't know themselves who the father of the child is, okay? Or perhaps they do. Because I'm getting here um, deception, okay? Deception. A lot of deception, okay? Um, this person intuitively knows who the father of the child is, is what I'm getting. But with that devil energy there, okay? Definitely I'm getting here that this person is hiding that, okay? So they could have just tried to pin the pregnancy onto you Aquarius or you did it onto somebody else let's clarify the king of pentacles like hey you're the father of the child you know so let's see what's going on with the king of pentacles I feel in the recent past there was an affair perhaps okay this person had their feet in two places um and now they don't know who the father of the child is okay this is not going to be specific for all Aquariuses I'm putting this out there now okay so don't come at me we've got the king of swords and we've got the ten of cups king of swords and ten of cups so in the recent past um we could have been dealing with somebody here who this person had or was going to have a family with okay um or somebody already has a family okay all right let's clarify the ace of wands let's clarify the ace of wands why is the ace of wands here please angel guys why is the ace of wands here we have the ten of pentacles and the three of wands okay so There could be a separation in this family, in this relationship, okay, where you and this person are not really together at the moment right now. You're thinking, okay, um, about the situation. You're wondering, okay, what's going to happen about this soulmate connection? Um, what's going to happen about this pregnancy? If you are pregnant, what's going to happen about this new beginning? Okay, that's about to happen or it's about to start. Um... 
you're trying to prepare for anything really okay with the lovers here let's clarify the lovers <laughs> okay five of wands you're conflicted you're conflicted you don't know where this is going to go where this is heading okay you're conflicted um page of pentacles again yeah i think you might want to make an apology okay or perhaps we want to just start off with making a small offer okay but i think you're worried about this pregnancy the baby once it comes what you're going to do what's going to happen if you apologize will this person take you back let's clarify the moon why is the moon here nine of cups nine of pentacles your person is is so your person is just very deceptive okay i don't know who this is um but whether this is you or your person but somebody is being very very deceptive okay um they're enjoying themselves okay they're overindulging in their life they're you know enjoying luxury they are uh, in abundant okay state they're single they're independent and they're drinking out of a lot of cups okay let's clarify the empress they might be saying that about you though as well so take it um how it resonates okay they might have said that hey you you know god knows how many people you've been with and blah 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 ouch it hurts okay i get it it hurts by the swords there's an argument going on around your pregnancy okay that's the fear that could be something that's already going on there's constant fights bickering going on okay around this pregnancy somebody's coming in to speak their mind basically okay let's clarify the page of pentacles why is the page of pentacles here why is the page of pentacles here please ace of swords with the strength okay so it could just be that once this pregnancy is over with okay and you've had the baby there will be a breakthrough in the situation um where this this childbirth this baby will bring the strength in bring the self-confidence that you need okay it's like nothing else will matter okay once this baby is here and i can tell you from experience nothing else really does matter once the baby's in the world okay so um but yeah there's a lot of like mental stress going on here a lot of deceptive behavior i don't know who this is coming from um so just be a little bit careful for pentacles holding on to a connection okay holding on to the marriage if there is one okay holding on to stability yeah it could be a father or mother of the child that you're dealing with here okay um we've got a lot of energy here got king of pentacles at the bottom there again okay so i feel like somebody's hiding something here All right let's see what's going on so somebody's manifesting a decision it's not going to be easy it's, it's not okay but somebody here is taking the chance at rebuilding okay stability so yeah okay um aquarius is take leave whatever you wish to from this reading don't forget to smash that like and subscribe okay because that way it shows that you're enjoying the content i'm always keeping it real and organic on this channel okay um guys don't forget to go and check out my merch as well the link is in the description box everything you need is in the description box okay and until next time, I will love you, okay, guys? And uh, take care. Stay indoors with me on YouTube. Bye.